In MathCAD Prime 10.0, you can now use advanced input controls like sliders. Back in 2020, at the height of the pandemic, I saw a video called Why Masks Work Better Than You Think by the Minute Physics YouTube channel. I highly recommend that you check out the video. I wanted to replicate something at the 353 mark where they used slider controls for the effectiveness of masks and the usage of masks in order to show the intuitive drop in disease transmission versus the actual drop in disease transmission. I know some people see this as a political issue or conspiracy. I don't care about any of that nonsense. I just wanted to replicate the graphic, which I am now able to do in 2024 with the advanced controls in MathCAD Prime 10. This worksheet is available on my Dropbox. Note that from the calculation tab, I have turned off a number of the redefinition warnings. And thanks to Atish Batia for providing the math on atishb.com forward slash mask math and GitHub. The links are in the description of this video. Anyhow, let me show you how to use slider controls in MathCAD Prime 10.0. Okay, let me go to a, another worksheet and I'm gonna scroll up to the top to explain this to you. Here I have some text boxes to explain the variables that I'm using. Note that I am using subscripts in the text, which is another MathCAD Prime 10.0 enhancement. I defined some of the functions and I'm also assuming that the mask is equally effective in both directions. All right, let me scroll down over here. And now I am going to define some of those different slider controls. Let me click on the sheet. And I'm gonna start out with a variable called E for the effectiveness. And then I will use the definition operator. If you go to the math tab and then the operators group, it is this command. It is also the keyboard shortcut of the colon key. So let's click on that. Now I will go to the input output tab and then from the advanced dropdown, here we have slider and I will click on that. And right now it's a little bit narrow. Let me make it nice and long. Okay, now I will select it and then right click on it and choose the edit button. And here's the script editor. I'm not going to do anything on this tab. Let's go to the properties tab. And here you can change the orientation. I like it being horizontal. I'm gonna add some tick marks in here and we'll have the point, you can do it either none, top left, bottom right, or both. I will leave it on both. And I want this to go from a minimum value of zero to a maximum value of one. So let me go over here and then change this get rid of a couple of those different zeros. And then for the tick frequency, I'm gonna change this to 0.05. And I will leave the line size and the page size the same. And I do like having a border on it. So let me close out of there. And now I can grab this slider and move it over. And right now it's not affecting the graph at all because I have these different variables over here. Let me define my mask usage variable. Let me do P and then colon key. I'm using the keyboard shortcut this time. I will go to the advanced dropdown and then slider. And let's make this wide as the other one. And then let me right mouse click on it and choose edit. Let's go to the properties tab and I'm gonna add in the ticks. Let's change the maximum value to one and let's do the tick frequency 0.05 and I'll leave everything else the same and then click the close button. And let me get rid of these definitions for E and P. Let me change them to evaluate them. So let's see, E is going to be equal to right now, oops, <laughs> I did lowercase e, which is the constant. Let me do capital E, and this is equal to 0 0.5. Right now, it is in the middle. 
Let's evaluate P. P is equal to zero. Let me slide this. And so here, this is good. Let me slide back down over here. We can see my graph that I have. And so let's say that you are using a mask that is 50% effective, but only 10% of the population is using masks. Well, the intuitive drop is only 5%. You have 95% disease transmission, but you're actually getting a drop of almost 10% over here. It is roughly around 90%. And here we can see as more people use masks, hey, we're actually seeing a higher drop in transmission. So let's crank this up to let's say 75%. And let's say that we are getting a really good mask. Let me crank up the effectiveness of the masks. Let's say that we're using one of those KN95s. Here we're seeing a huge drop. And this is a way that you can get that R0 value down so that we can defeat a pandemic. So there you have it. That is how you can use the new slider controls in MathCAD Prime 10.0.